Javante Davis being ducked by Vasil Lomachenko. Should Shakur Stevenson be next? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. So, news is breaking that Vasil Lomachenko is backing out of the Javante Davis negotiation. I just want to break down whether this is a duck move or is he just stepping aside so Javante and Shakur can get it on. Not only that, is Shakur even worthy of this fight at this point? I just want to break all that down, get my 5,000 nickels for anybody. Yep, yeah. Lomachenko officially ducked Javante Tang Davis. He pulled out of the negotiations. And let me tell you, <laughs> I know why. I don't know why Lomachenko wasn't offered enough money for his going away party. All right, so Javante Davis, Vasil Lomachenko, Shakur Stevens, what's really going on? Brother Brown was down on Bush with Gavin the last night with a two dollar hole. So Vasil Lomachenko apparently is backing out of the negotiations with Javante Davis, and honestly, I'm not surprised. Vasil Lomachenko is still. Represented by Bob Earl. Bob Earl, we all know, doesn't like to do business with PBC, but will do business, you know, with those guys when he has to. You the dog, motherfucker! And to be honest, again, I don't I'm not surprised that these negotiations are not going forward because Vasil's not gonna be the A side in that fight. You ain't down with that, shut your goddamn ass up. And that's what Bob Earl would want if that fight was to actually happen. Not only that, I had heard about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, that Vasil Lomachenko said he was willing to step aside and let Javante Davis take on Shakur Stevenson. Uh, I mean, that just sounds like somebody that's scared. Instead of him. So, I'm not sure if this is actually a duck move or if it's a situation of Vasil Lomachenko just trying to leverage himself into an even bigger fight. In the near future perhaps he has some other things going on perhaps he wanted to take a little time out of the ring perhaps right now is just not the right time for him to get back in the ring we don't know he had a nice victory a couple of weeks ago you know shouts out to Vasil Lomachenko so at the end of the day you know I'm not surprised that this fight's not going to happen but I wouldn't necessarily call it a duck move by Vasil well I know you know you love lucky man to uh, Shakur Stevens. Here's the thing about Shakur. He hasn't really proven anything at all. And I know a lot of people like Shakur Stevens. It don't matter to me. But what has Shakur Stevens done at 135 pounds other than, you know, be praised as somebody who did something great at the weights before him? You know, his last couple fights have been complete boring. Give me someone that for trying. Complete sleep fest. You know, they're just not living up to the hype. So if you're not living up to the hype, why exactly do you deserve a Javante Davis fight? Which brings up the next question, and that is, who else does Javante Davis fight if he doesn't fight Shakur Stevens? Are there even any more super fights to be made? I mean, this is some shameful shit. And to be honest with you, I would say he should fight Manny Pacquiao. But I think that that fight could only happen if he was to move up to at least, you know, 145, if not 147. What's the matter? You can't call nobody! Uh, and I say that because Shakur Stevens doesn't have the history of selling pay-per-views. We know Manny Pacquiao can move numbers even at this age. And I think that that would be a good look for Javante, especially if he is actually planning on moving up in weight, which we haven't really heard a lot about up to this point. We've heard that he wanted to, but he hasn't really hinted at moving up at all. So, does Shakur deserve that fight? You know where that come from? Watching that damn TV. I would say it would be a great fight, but then after that, what? You know, what does Javante do after that? other than the Lomachenko fight, and would Lomachenko still be ducking that fight if he beat Shakur Stevens? The details of my life are quite inconsequential. Where's Manny Pacquiao falling in all of this? I think Javante Davis Pacquiao would be a super fight to end all super fights 
even at his age. Let me tell you something. The most important thing you can ever do in life is love yourself. I mean, we gotta know what, it, what his money going to. Stop worrying about who don't like you, who ain't like your picture, who talking about you. That don't mean nothing. I mean, we gotta know what, it, what his money going to. Nothing supersedes loving yourself. When you love yourself, that's all that matters. That's the main ingredient to winning in life. That's the main ingredient to having a peaceful, loving life. I mean, we gotta know what, it, what his money going to. When you love yourself, when you get up in that mirror and look at that and say, I love you. You know what? I love you. I'm proud of you, man. I mean, we gotta know what, it, what his money going to. That's the most important thing. Stop worrying about who don't love you, who don't like you, who talking about you. That don't matter. Love yourself, and it's just like that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section. Blow the like button for me, sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler me on all social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the tubes or holler at me over there. You want to collab or feature a product, your channel or my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com. And we aren't mad at him. Don't try this at home. I don't know shit about boxing. I ain't won the trick, I'm just investing. It's your boy Lewis Keys from the West End. Any questions? Whether straight or your lesbian. Play this way while I'm dressing. Uh, now put your clothes back on. Hop in the ride, let me take you back home. She said she felt it in her backbone. Pull the ride over, let her hop back on. She fell off and she got back on. Niggas like me be getting they mask on. Slacks on, cap on. Yeah, that's your girl, but she ain't coming back. Now I'm on half of my niggas trying to get the money stacking up. DJ spinning, trying to get the honeys back and back it up. Uh, you see your girl right there, I'm trying to pipe her. She like, it is what it is. She like it is what it is. She like it is what it is. It is what it is. She like it is what it is. She like it is. Check it is. Uh -huh. it is, what it is. Uh -huh. I got a brick house, but it's like I'm talking to a brick wall. Got a thick wall, but she shit tall. Checking on my missed calls, get me pissed off. I tolerate it, cause without I'll be like withdrawal. She get me fiending, dreaming of beating it up. I'm leaving my peoples and creeping with her. When I had a little chick, I was cheating with her. She wanna she the hit raw, get the skiing in her. Whoa, hit raw, I snap like bitch, no, nah, no offense. But I ain't known you for that long. See, nowadays these gold diggers invest. If they can't get the hot nigga, get the nigga who like next it and uh is what it is, I'm like it is what it is, it is what it is, I'm like it is what it is, I'm like it is what it is, it is what it is, I'm like 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 it is what it is, It is what it is.